Have you ever wondered why you float better in the ocean than you do in a freshwater lake or pool? Well, it all depends on something called buoyancy. What is buoyancy, you ask? Well, buoyancy is basically the ability to float. However, an object that is buoyant in one fluid may not be buoyant in another fluid. This depends on the density. The density of a substance is equal to the object's total mass divided by its total volume. If the average density of an object is less than that of the fluid, then the object will float in the fluid. An object will sink in the fluid if the object weighs more than that of the fluid it displaces when fully submerged. You can alter a fluid's density by dissolving a substance, such as salt, in the fluid. When salt is added to water, the density of water increases. Therefore, the object in the water will float higher in the salt water. This concept will be demonstrated by Barbara's day at the pool. Oh, the water feels nice. I gotta go get my bathing suit. Oh no! Someone help me! Ken! Ken! Help me! Help me! I'm drowning! Help! 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 I'm drowning! What's this I hear? Barbie? She's in trouble? Help, Ken! I'm drowning! I'm drowning! Have no fear! Ken is here! I'll save you, Barbie! Oh, yeah! <laughs> Wait a minute! I thought you were gonna jump in and save me! No, no, that's old school, sweetheart. I'm pouring salt into the tank because it increases the density of the water, which will make you more buoyant. Huh? Don't worry about it, Barbie. Just know that the wonderful laws of physics and myself, of course, are here to save you from drowning. You will indeed float to the top. Look, I'm floating to the top and I don't even have to swim, thanks to you and density. Here, let me help you out of the water, Bobby. Oh, thank you, Ken. What would I ever do without you? I love you. Mwah. I love you too, Bobby. Let's go. Yay for physics! I love physics! The buoyancy of an object is equal to the density of the fluid times the gravity times the volume of the water displaced. The average density of salt water is 1.027 grams per milliliter. To find the volume of the water displaced, the surface area of the bottom of the submerged object must be calculated and multiplied by the height of the object that remains underwater. I could have saved you! I'm a mermaid! Oh well, physics works too.